afternoon traders and students all around the world this is FXpression broadcasting you live on YouTube happy Friday everybody hello King of Swing hello Zuelius como esta o senor hoje? hello Miguel remember everybody we are talking about psychology this is our job right now to understand how psychology works right and one more time you know if this is your first time with us please go back to the Dukas Copy YouTube webinar page everybody and start to watch the basic module lesson number one what is market structure okay and what we are trying to do here we are trying to build the three pillars remember this is beginner stuff okay we're trying to build a strategy and or a system that's easy for us to understand easy f easy to obey you know we're trying to understand how risk management works inside our strategy and or system and the big one you know the answer why 90% of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide this is the reason it's psychology and what do champion beginner traders say champion beginner traders say I am not going to live and die on a trade by trade basis and of course this is a quote from Mark Douglas and on the left I have my own quote when the market scares you you know don't be afraid to do the right thing you know when you lose again and lose again and lose again you know don't be afraid try to do the right thing right and it's all about psychology in the end everybody and remember the webinars are not trading or investment advice and for homeworks or questions you have my gmail contact my skype contact and my link in contact hello king hello kata so what are we trying to learn here we are trying to learn that it's not about the chart right it's not about the chart and it's about how we interpret the chart what beliefs are we holding in an, in our subconscious mind and the second step is we are going to act on those beliefs so it's what action are we going to take upon our interpretation of the chart you know are we perceiving the chart as a threat or are we perceiving a chart as an opportunity how this works everybody <clears throat> every time that you wanted to enter into a trade and you saw support or resistance in the past you didn't enter did you you know there is an opportunity to short the market you know but you just you are just seeing some support from the previous uptrend right so this would be the example right this would be the example you know the market is making this could be a short term uptrend on the one hour chart four hour chart you know whatever chart you know and, and we had a we have a trend line break you know the market making lower lows lower highs you know lower lows lower highs and we have a counter trend line break to short the market you know and this is now we are thinking as beginner traders that this is all technicals you know it's not when this happens everybody we are emotional you know so we have an opportunity to short the market you know 
but we we are not entering why not because we are seeing this one we are seeing we are seeing this one maybe a little bit lower you know maybe this is a little bit higher so we are seeing this one transparency huh maybe a different color okay we are going to see some past support from the previous trend and we are not taking action do we true or true everybody okay good point bad point it's normal you know if you're a beginner trader you are going to perceive this setup as a threat you know and you won't take action true or true am i talking nonsense everybody you know and this is why we are telling you it's not about the chart it's about how we interpret the chart if we interpret the chart as a threat we are not going to execute the setup simple as this If we are going to interpret the chart as a threat, we are not going to execute the setup. Period. End of story. So what we are trying to learn here, and today is the fourth day, is that it's not about the chart. It's about how we interpret the chart and then we are going to act upon our interpretation. And yesterday did anybody do the homework did you check upon yourself do you have the need to be always right do you have the need to be always right maybe yes maybe not right do you have the need everybody to be always right and today we are moving we are moving forward you know this is from yesterday stubbornly holding a losing position will only deepen the wound you know and from yesterday just remember even the best business deals the best trades can go wrong because of the randomness in the market even the best analysis and entry setup even the best trading systems cannot prevent accidents anyone who does not admit that he is wrong he or she is wrong and who needs and who needs help will probably burn their account will be quiet will hide the loss and will fuel the account with new money just to lose the whole money over and over again guys how many times did we burn the account and then we would start again right i'm not going to lose my fr i'm not going to say my friends that i lost the account i'm going to I'm going to make another one and we lost the account again and we would lose a, another account and make another account again you know and we would change you know we would we would open one two three four five six seven eight accounts you know and we are not moving and this is why for God's sakes I'm not going to tell my friends that I lost real money you know but I'm telling everybody I'm a trader you know I am a trader you know how can I tell my friends that I lost money I'm telling that I'm a trader you know make sense guys come on come on you know we've all been there you know me too I did the same things I burned them accounts telling everybody I'm a trader you know I would when I would lose an account when I would draw down I would open another account change the my FX book number right and then when I would start to trade with real money I would burn the account stay quiet hide the burned account you know changed my fx book number again 
right? But the reality is that if you cannot make consistent profits for, a, for at least three consecutive months, and if you do not know how to explain how you made money and how you lost money in a way that a person who does not trade can understand, then you need to practice and study more. The sooner you admit that you are wrong, the sooner things will change for you. Period. End of story, everybody. The sooner we admit that we are wrong, the sooner things will change for us. But yeah, it's difficult. You know, we talked yesterday, this mind trap, the need of being right, it's, it's a big one, you know. It's a big one. We've programmed this way, you know. Don't make mistakes. Don't be wrong. And in the end, before we move to another one, the concept that you need to internalize is that there is nothing wrong with making mistakes. No one is perfect and everyone misses. What is wrong is to not admit your mistakes. If you do not admit your mistakes, how will you grow? How will you learn? How will you evolve? If you are always right, why would you study, grow and evolve, right? Everybody? If I'm thinking that I am always right, I'm always right, why would I grow? Why would I study? Make sense, guys? Or am I talking nonsense? And the last <laughs> question is, you do, you do not need this, right? Of course not, you are always right. No, I'm telling everybody you need to practice more. Oh, I don't need to practice more. Of course not, you are always right. Why would you practice? <clears throat> so, mind trap number three today, everybody. Happy Friday. At the end of the lesson, we're going to talk about funding, you know, how can you trade for us, okay? In the end of the lesson and talking about creating fal false expectation what is the psychological concept to internalize is we need to have or create real expectations and already talking about the changing habits you know if I was programmed everybody that I need to be right for 30 years, I cannot expect that my account is going to change from one day to another. I need to allow myself time. I need to allow myself one, two, three years in order to change the habits. And this is the good news. Oh man, passion! Do I need to allow myself one, two, three years? Yes. Somebody is going to change faster. Like in one year, somebody is going to need some more time. Like three years, four years, five years. But this is all good news, everybody. Right? And what is the logic behind time? Look at your friends and family and look at them and try to figure out how many of them are how many of them become millionaires in three years or five years what is the number you know if you think everybody that five years it's a long time in order to learn how to trade look at your friends and family how many of your friends and family become millionaires in five years? Six years? Seven years? Eight years? What's the number? You know what's the number, right? <laughs> zero. Zero is the number. Zero. You know, so don't create false expectations. Oh, I'm going to be a professional trader in one year. You won't. You know? 
It takes doctors, surgeons 10 to 15 years to become a professional. Why would you think that trading is different? We live in different parts of the world, but a doctor, surgeon would go first, would, would need four years to study and then would need four more years to practice and four more years to, to finish the, the practice, you know? Don't believe me? Ask somebody who knows, some surgeon, he's going to tell you. I became a professional after 8 years, 9 years, 10 years, right? Miguel, how many years did it took to you? Everybody, Miguel is a surgeon, he's here. Miguel, how many years did it took you to become a professional? If you would be so kind to type in the chat. So trading everybody is not that, that different, you know. How many years it took Tiger Woods to become a professional golfer? How many years it took Cristiano Ronaldo to become a professional soccer player? How many years it took Kai Green or Arnold Schwarzenegger to become a professional bodybuilder? You know? How many years took Ayrton Senna, Michael Schumacher, I don't know, the Formula One drivers? How many years took your friend, which is a businessman or a businesswoman, to become successful and profitable consistently? Thank you, Miguel. 15 years, everybody. It took 15 years, not months, not days, 15 years to become a professional surgeon. So why we think everybody, oh I'm going to be a millionaire trader in a year, you know, I'm going to watch FX Passion, Forex Course 101 and I'm going to be a top trader, millionaire, it's never going to happen. Those are false expectations, everybody, you know? So why are, why are we thinking like this? Well, number one, nobody's telling us, right? I have a friend who invited me to a seminar from a broker or investment bank or a hedge fund and they told me, do this course and you are going to be a millionaire in one year or maybe one day. So man, this is for me, you know. I'm going to be a millionaire in one year. Ha 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 ha. Did something click in your head, everybody? Please don't cry. <laughs> you know. No, I'm going to cry. Don't cry, though. This is good news. Don't cry, you know. And this is why everybody, you know. What, this is one of the reasons, again, one more, why 90% of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide. They quit. They quit. They are trying for one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, and they quit. They never allow themselves, or let's talk about us, right? We never allow ourselves to get to the point of understanding, learning and really, really, really understand how this market works, you know? We don't allow ourselves time. It took Miguel 15 years. Guess how many intelligent people quit during the time that Miguel was moving on and moving on and moving on and falling, making mistakes, it took him 15 years. You can bet, you can bet 80% of his friends quit, you know. Talking about Hollywood stars, actors, you know, it takes years. I'm an old guy, you know, so one of my heroes is Jean-Claude Van Damme, you know, it's JCVD and he was telling a story 
you know he was working as a waiter for three years before the first opportunity how many people are working for three years as a waiter in Hollywood and then they want to become great actors or great actresses you know now retire thank you Miguel you know there are a lot of intelligent everybody this is not about intelligence you know you have a lot of intelligent talented actors and actresses you know but they don't allow time you know they are thinking oh I didn't make it in three months then I'm going to quit or oh I didn't find a role for my movie in a year then I'm going to quit you know so mind trap now it's a mind trap everybody remember it's a mind trap we are creating false ex expectations so what is the psychological concept to battle this mind trap we need to have or create real expectations you know take a pen and paper and write down if to if Miguel took 15 years to become a surgeon there is no chance that I'm going to become a professional trader in one year it's never going to happen those are false expectations you know what's the time passion what's the time well everybody is a little bit different but anyway we need to allow some time for sure it's not going to happen in one year everybody you can forget about this if you are a complete trader like zero knowledge one year uh uh and it's not about oh my I'm so intelligent it's not about intelligence you know it's about habits it's about psychology and there is too much info already in the Forex course 101 we are telling you watch this webinar three or four times watch this webinar five times it's too much information our brain cannot sustain that much information you know it's not about being intelligent it's not about hard work either we need to allow some time so in our modern world there are a lot of false ex expectations one of the false expectation is that our IQ our graduation diploma our MBA or doctorate degree will help us make money in the financial markets I'm going to read this one more time one of the false expectations in the financial market is that our IQ our diploma of graduation our MBA our doctorate degree will help us making money in the financial markets unfortunately in the financial markets whether that is the stock market options market or the forex financial markets these things are not going to help us we have you know we have students and we have traders you know there have been countless examples of doctors lawyers architects quantum physics I have a student everybody he is building spaceships and he is not going anywhere is he stupid of course not he's building spaceships but those things are not going to help us in the financial markets you know because if we are thinking that if we were successful in our area you know in our job then we are going to be also successful in the financial market and this is not true you know I could be thinking well I'm successful doctor then I'm going to be a successful trader or I'm a successful dentist lawyer architect businessman businesswoman and I'm going to be a successful trader it doesn't work this way in the financial markets those are false expectations okay 
the financial markets require a different skill set. It's good news, it's a skill set, you can learn, but it's a different skill set. Financial markets require a different heart set and a different mindset and it's upside down in many ways like hard work working hard doesn't work in the financial markets you know quantity and quality you know if you have a shoe shop if you have a restaurant if you are selling things on the internet what do you want first quantity or quality you know if you are selling cars if you are selling cell phones if you have a business and you want clients what do you want first quality or quantity we want quantity right I don't want to sell one pizza I want to sell hundred pizzas well the financial markets are upside down we want quality first and then quantity does successful psychologist equals the trader you know the answer already king of swing you know the answer already what is the answer great question what is the answer I'm going to read again guys we you are not getting this one of the false expectations is that our IQ our diploma of graduation I could be studying I could be a graduated psychologist our MBA I have an MBA in psychology or doctorate degree I'm a doctor in psychology one of the false expectation is that all of these things will help us making money in the financial markets great question what's the answer and because of the false expectation there is a reason why the incidence of failure of those who try to become professional traders is 95 percent worldwide among all the people who will try to live and earn an income from the forex market only five percent will succeed maybe six seven you know the numbers are changing but we are there and this is the reality the numbers don't lie so we need to create what's the answer then you know we need to create realistic expectations for example it's not going to be easy you know that we are going to make mistakes along the way and lastly that it will take some time those are realistic expectations but it's not that different you know as we were talking about it's not that different trading is not that different from being a professional athlete you know my name is FX Passion and I'm a waiter in a restaurant and now I want to run in the Olympic Games what are the what are the realistic expectations if I'm an adult I'm going to realize that I'm a waiter and I want to run the Olympic Games games number one it's not going to be easy number two I am going to make mistakes along the way and number three it's going to take me some time it's not that different you know I am a waiter and I want to be a surgeon what is what is what is the reality it's it's not going to be easy you know I don't have the skill set you know it's not going to be easy I'm going to make mistakes along the way and I'm I you know it will take some time 
I want to be a businessman or a businesswoman and I'm a waiter or I'm a taxi driver or I'm a dentist whatever you know it's not going to be easy those are different skill set I'm going to make mistakes along the way for sure and it will take me some time so now that we are here everybody do you still want to be a trader question for you everybody think about yourself this is one of the aha moments do you still want to pursue this dream do you still want to be a trader knowing that it's going to take you a few years that the forex course 101 it's not enough it's not that bad either you know <laughs> but you know and this is the answer question answer passion can i make some money from the forex course 101 yes you can passion can i make consistent money from the forex course 101 no you can't no you can't it's not going to be easy you are going to make mistakes along the way and it requires time king of swing miguel alakata reagan zuelius do you still want to be a trader any aske do you still want to become a trader you know Oh, this is too hard. Well, welcome to the club, you know. But I'm telling you, oh, financial markets are impossible. This is no different than being or getting or becoming a professional athlete. It's no, this is difficult. It's not different than becoming a surgeon. It's not that different becoming a Hollywood superstar you are going to make mistake along the way it's not going to be easy you are going to receive countless no 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 it's going to take some time Zuelio says yes king of swing yes 100% teacher Alakata says yes well talking it's easy right let's see let's see Believe me, I have countless trader students. Passion! I am serious! I'm going to be the next top trader! Well, I like your motivation, but talk is cheap. Talking is easy, you know, blah, 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 blah. Everybody wants to be a millionaire. But, show me, you know, show me. Show me how dedicated you are. Not for one day, not for one week, for a year. Show me how dedicated you are for a year. You know? Guys, every time you don't do the homework, what is this showing to me? Talk is easy, talking is easy. My dogs too want to be traders, you know? And they too are telling that they are serious everybody talk is cheap you know no for god's sakes i'm not comparing you to the dogs no come on you know but i'm telling you you know everybody's blah 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 you know oh i want to be a millionaire blah 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 and next year is going to be different blah 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 and next year i'm going to lose weight blah 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 one year from another same story show me you know your results everybody are going to show how serious you are and if you are not doing the homeworks and I don't care what happened yesterday this is you showing me you know oh but because my cat and my dog and the government and corona and uh, the weather and the internet blah 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 you are not serious you know Miguel says, persistent education maintains your brain active and prevents senile dementia. Sure. Sure, Miguel. I have nothing else, sir. This is what I 
prayed for. <coughs> Show me. Show me. Remember, this is one of the last mind games. There are a few professions that are more challenging than becoming a professional trader. So, let's read from the start. When we delusionally start to think that we can study how to trade the markets and how we will get rich within one year, we are creating false expectations. Look around you, check out those that are supposedly trading for a living, ask them to show you their real accounts and see how far they have progressed and how long it took them. One day one of my friends asked a brain surgeon how long took him to become a brain surgeon? Answer, 16 years. Miguel is here, he said 15. My friend said 16. So the question is, if everybody knows that it takes 16 years or 15 years to become a brain surgeon, then why do people think it will take, it will take a year or less to become a successful trader? Remember, trading is one of the last mind games. There are few professions that are more challenging. Why is challenging? It's not about the IQ, it's not about having a doctorate, not about being an MBA. There are few professions that are more challenging than becoming a professional trader. So be careful everybody not to create false expectations. Okay. Mind trap number four, the need of having control over things. Psychological concept to internalize having control over things like the market, it's an illusion. It's an illusion, it's not real. We learn early in life that in order to succeed we need to have control over external factors and life in general. We usually learn this concept as we grow up and the truth is we actually do have some degree of control over our life. So when we are young we are trained to study hard enough so we'll have a good grades, right? And we also learn while we are young that we can manipulate to a degree people, you know, even when we are babies, to get those things we need and want. When we become adults, we enhance our leadership skills that also give us a certain degree of influence, aka control, over those around us and the factors influencing our life. Everyone likes to feel that they are in control of something because feeling and thinking that we are in control of something gives us a feeling of security and the feeling of being safe. As we said, it's one of our primordial impulses. So feeling and thinking that we are in control of something gives us the feeling of security and feeling of being safe. However, all these are merely illusions. Of course, we can influence people to a degree. We can influence the meetings, we can influence the relationships, we can influence the outcome, but to say that we have control over things, this is a different story. Does this make sense to you or am I talking nonsense? Everybody. Of course we can influence people, we can influence meetings, we can influence relationships, we can influence some outcome, but to state that we have control over those things, it's a completely different story. You know, I can influence my dogs with a stick, but believe me, I don't have control over them. 
I can influence my wife and my kids, but believe me, I'm not controlling them. Having control over something, it's a different story. Do we agree on that? Or am I talking maybe nonsense? You know, you go, oh, passion, you are crazy, you know. This is nonsense. Well, good luck with your trading. Everybody, what do you think? Do we agree? What do you think, everybody? No, I'm not going to offend. Be no, come on, you know, you know me. I'm not that kind of a guy. You can tell me everything you want. Passion, I don't believe you, I think you're crazy, you know, it's okay. <laughs> I understand you, believe me. I've been there. I know how those things sound crazy, right? No, I have control over my boss. Okay, <laughs> you know. I have control over my life. Well, good luck. We have control only over one thing, only one, and this is ourselves, you know, talking about having control, there is only one thing that we have control over, and this is ourselves, period, end of story, you know, and again, you know, you can reject what we are teaching you, you can accept what we are teaching you. You know, just to clarify, what we are discussing here is the difference between influence and control. When you say that you have control over something or somebody, that means that you are 100% certain about the outcome, about the end result. In the case of the markets, we are clearly shown time and time again that we have no control over any moves in the market. Furthermore, aspiring traders often lack patience and want to control time, which is even more elusive. Again, the market can and will clearly demonstrate this. The market can do what it wants, when it wants, for how long it wants. I want to make 100 pips per day. You have no control over it. I want to make 50 pips per day. <laughs> you have no control. Oh, come on, Pesh. I want to make 5 pips per day. You have no control. Passion, you are scaring me. <laughs> I just got scared, you know, with all of this psychological stuff. Happy Friday, everybody. Our decisions, yes, sir. Exactly. You know, but sometimes as beginner traders, you know, we want to force the market. You know, I'm going long and the market goes against me, and I'm going to go enter another trade going long. And the market goes against me again, and I'm going to enter another lot going long. Why I'm doing this? It doesn't make any sense. You know, because subconsciously I think that I'm going to influence the market, you know. I have the power, you know. This is a, it's an illusion. So when you see a trader everybody going against the market and this was me back I did all of these things, you know. Don't worry everybody. All the mind traps that you are reading and learning are my personal experience. I've been this guy. I did this. I tried to influence the markets. I thought I'm going to become a millionaire in one year. You know, I didn't believe that psychology is the missing part. I did all of these stupid things. It took me a while to realize, you know, but my mentor was telling me, Passion, if your way is not working, try mine. It's simple as that. Passion, if you are trying for five, six, seven years, 
and things are not going well for you try my way obviously your way is not working look at the results and talking about changing the way everybody see here the bottom line this is the bottom line if your way is not working why don't you try ours today's Friday next level number five let's talk about funding how can you trade for us if you want to trade for an asset manager or a hedge fund ask for incubation ask me where I will personally allocate the funds for you to trade with me FX passion I'm going personally allocate funds for you to trade you will receive 50% of profit share on our money for the first quarter and then you will receive up to 70% of profit share no tricks no hidden costs okay show us that you are good a good trader and you can build your trading curl with us there is only one rule maximum drawdown is 30 percent okay everybody just remember about this psychological series you know you can accept or reject everything but this is really the bottom line if your way is not working for one two three four five years why don't you try ours you know okay everybody our time is up happy friday see you back on 